in this first activity you have 12 sequences here which you have to decide how you're going to categorize them are they linear are they quadratic or are they cubic um, the aim is to work on your intuitive feeling for this we all have a good sense of number and you can see that they evolve very differently how they g progress from one number to the next uh, and so just using our intuition and lots of discussion between groups and people I think we'll come up with a fairly good categorization to begin with you can use the control uh, minus or plus button to zoom in and zoom out so that you can fit all of it on one page the whole app so we can see it all at once um, once you've categorized that using your intuition I think the best way is to have I've got the activity open twice the same page once in um, Chrome and once in Firefox in this case any two will do and we're going to scroll down to the spreadsheet calculator for the differences method and open that up and when we open it up you can either click on the image or the link that's here there's a spreadsheet the only things you can edit are in yellow you can only edit the yellow boxes all the rest is protected and if you try and edit it you'll get a message um, and so you enter each sequence into the yellow area and the spreadsheet automatically cal calculates the first second and third differences um, this checked areas to show you can't edit those cells but it's nicer to remove it so if you go to view protected ranges and that just removes the, the gray slashes okay so this is obviously um, and the only table we're interested in here is this top one the other ones we'll talk about in the next video but if this third difference is constant it must be a cubic if the second difference is constant it must be a quadratic uh, in which case the third difference would be obviously zero and if the first difference is constant with the other zero it must be a linear and that's where you can check you've put them in the right place. Over to you.